Zach Morris is trash. Screech says he has his eyes on a young lady. Zack laughs out loud. Screech makes a move, but when her menacing boyfriend arrives, he hides. Zack wants Screech to tell him all about that humiliating thing he just saw happen, then slams a door in his face. Belding has great news. Madonna's the new school nurse? Spoken like a virgin. Bayside is hosting the California Cadet Corps. Lieutenant Adams says it requires discipline and hard work. Zack says, hard pass. Belding wants to know who's in, and Slater says, sign me up. Zack needlessly announces he's out, then laughs at his own dumb ass for the second time in two minutes. Belding is done with Zack's assholery and says he's earned 30 Saturdays of detention. Zack whines like a child about his long overdue punishment. Belding says he'll let Zack off the hook to stop the whining if he joins the Corps. But because they need a full class, Zack has to recruit peers. Zack's delighted to dupe Rubes into joining the army to avoid the consequences of his behavior. Zack tells two nerds the army serves cake at every meal. Then Zack tells the guy who's been threatening his friend. Hey, if you join the Corps, you can beat up anybody you want. Not get in trouble. Then provokes Jesse by saying women don't belong in the army. Then reminds Kelly that her family has seven kids and is poor, and an army scholarship could be her one chance at college. Then exploits Lisa's sexual attraction to the lieutenant. But he needs one more sucker. Bingo. Screech strikes out again, and Zack says the only way he can get a girl is by being a real man in the army. Zack paints Screech a fantasy where he becomes a decorated officer who can throw dudes into outer space and gets babe smooches. The gang is nervous, but Zack tells them to relax because it's just the army. Lieutenant Adams is doing his army thing, yelling and such. Zack tells him to chill. The lieutenant tells Zack to drop and give him 20. Zack cracks a dumb joke. Lieutenant says, make it 50. Zack continues to goof, thinking that will decrease his number of push-ups. The lieutenant says, make it 100. Zack considers ways he can maybe bribe this guy. Zack shows up the next day in his quitting uniform, but Lieutenant Adams says he wants to make a deal. There's an athletic competition, and if Zack's team wins, he can quit with no detention. He'll even let Zack pick the teams. Zack senses nothing suspicious about this man suddenly being nice and agrees to his trap. Zack puts all the nerds and weaklings together on Slater's red team, then picks all the jocks and able-bodied babes for his blue team. Slater says that's unfair, but Zack promises the teams are balanced. The lieutenant says Zack is now on the red team, and Slater is on the blue team, and it shouldn't matter because the teams are balanced. And this was obviously a trap, you dingus. Slater's team is killing it, thriving with a real leader. Zack's shit is a disaster. The team he built to fail is doing just that, and he's yelling at cadets who are only there because of his lies. Zack's team struggles with the first obstacle of the day, which is all it takes for him to loudly call them losers and storm off like a pouty bitch. Screech pleads with Zack to come back, but Zack says he doesn't want to waste any of his precious beanbag chair magazine time. Screech reminds Zack he's the only reason any of them enlisted. Zack says he lied, so what, and scolds his friend for trusting him. Screech says he used to look up to Zack, but not anymore, hitting Zack the only place he feels it, his fragile blonde ego. Zack returns, not dressed to compete, and says he's ready to compete. He begs to re-enlist because he can't stand being made to feel like less than Screech. Lieutenant Adams says it's up to his teammates. Zack says he's sorry for calling them losers and he wants back in. They say yes because the team he designed to lose needs him to win, and they have a deep insecurity about losing since he yelled they were losers just one day ago. The games are going great. Who cares? Zack's only win is during American Gladiator combat when he distracts his opponent to sucker punch him. It's all tied up. Each team has to pick one member to run the final obstacle course. But instead of taking that responsibility to make up for the many events he skipped, Zack puts the burden on Screech's shoulders. And Screech wins and gets the girl, no thanks to Zack. Lieutenant Adams says he guesses this is goodbye. Zack says it isn't because he's not a quitter. Except he certainly is because we never see Zack in Cadet Corps ever again. And who knows what happened to Lieutenant Adams, he probably fucking killed himself, let's review. View. Zach Morris disrespected a soldier visiting his school, and instead of accepting his punishment, took a deal where he had to convince students to join the army, which he only accomplished through lies and manipulation, and quit after day one when he had to do push-ups for his insubordination, then was given a second chance that he used to cheat his way onto a winning team. And when the team he built to lose started losing, abandoned everyone, then only returned to repair his damaged ego, and only won a single event because of a sucker punch. And when the pressure was on to win it all, he stepped away like a coward, and didn't learn anything from any of it because he quit one last time right after saying he's not a quitter. Zach Morris is trash. Zach Morris is trash.